welcome to geography class today we are going to learn the second part of lesson number 5 natural vegetation and animal life of india and brazil in this module we are going to learn the natural vegetation of india india is a vast country with a variety of climate soil the variation in temperature and rainfall together with the diversity of relief has blessed india with different types of vegetation natural vegetation of india are of five that is you can see there are five types of forest evergreen forest deciduous forest thorny shrubs coastal forest and himalayan forest let us look at the map if you see the right side of the map you can see there are two colors shown over there the darker green color that color that is which we can see in the western ghat and on the north eastern regions they show evergreen forest and the light green color which you can see is the deciduous forest so you can see deciduous forest occupy maximum area in india since it is receiving 1000 mm to 2000 mm of rainfall and if you see the left side of the map you can see there is a light green color or the neon color shown over there you can see that is the himalayan mountain which is seen on the northern side and also on the north eastern side that is in arunachal pradesh the light yellow color which you can see that is the thorny shrubs and the coastal areas or the coastal vegetation is mainly found in the eastern coast let us see the first that is the evergreen forest regions which receive more than 2000 mm of rainfall and ample sunlight evergreen forests are found trees here are tall dense and green the leaves are broad and green the trees wood are hard and durable various types of creepers and shrubs grow at the ground level that is this creepers they take the support of the tree and they grow on it they are called green why because you can see they never shed their leaves highest biodiversity is found in this forest evergreen forests are found in western ghats north eastern regions and andaman and nicobar islands let us see the trees found in evergreen forest it is mahogany rosewood and rubber the same trees we have seen in equatorial forest in brazil deciduous forest deciduous means the trees that shed the leaves each year regions receiving rainfall between 1000 mm to 2000 mm deciduous forests are found they shed their leaves in summer and regrow in monsoon so they are also called as monsoon forest they are found in the regions of west bengal odisha chatisgarh uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand western ghat maharashtra karnataka kerala etc trees found over here are teak bamboo banyan sandalwood let us have a glance teak which is used for very useful for making furniture bamboo you know it is used for construction sandalwood a very costly and expensive tree here you can see the sandalwood is used for making soaps and also for making perfume banyan thorny shrubs regions receiving less than 500 mm of rainfall and experiencing dry summer have thorny shrub type of vegetation the leaves are small in size example ketechu acacia kejri bear and a variety of cactus like aloe vera and and also a give if you see the leaves over here are modified into thorn that is to minimize the evaporation it is found in the south east part of punjab haryana up rajasthan madhya pradesh maharashtra 
తెలంగాణ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ తమిళనాడు ఎక్సెట్రా లెట్ ఇస్ లుక్ ఎట్ ద షర్బ్స్ ఫస్ట్ ఇస్ ఎకేషియా సెకండ్ వన్ ఇస్ బేర్ విచ్ యూ కాల్ ఇస్ బోర్ దెన్ ఇట్ ఇస్ కెటేచు విచ్ ఇస్ లైక్ అ పామ్ ట్రీ కేజ్రి అండ్ ఆల్సో ఎలోవేరా coastal forest coastal vegetations are found in the swampy area swampy means a marsh area ashuris and lagoons which have saline soil and moist climate they are called mangroves or called sundarban in india sundarban is the largest mangrove forest in the world the wood of this tree are oily light and durable coastal vegetation is mainly found along the eastern coast let us look at the coastal forest where we see the mangroves mangroves protect us from tsunami and also from high tide they are very important part of the ecosystem let us see what is a lagoon a lagoon is a stretch of salt water separated from the sea by a coral reef or a or by other barriers let us ashuri ashuri is a it is a tidal mouth of a large river where the tide meets the stream or also we can say the river water meets the sea water that is a mixing of fresh water with the salt water it is a place where you can see we, we can find aquatic plants fishes and birds himalayan forest you can see the white color which is shown is called as the cold desert just below that you can see the green color over both the sides that is a himalayan forest the climate is very cold in the high altitude altitude means the height as altitude increases temperature decreases so you can find it is very cold over there the temperature drops to minus 40 degrees celsius in jammu and kashmir and parts of himalaya it is snow covered for most part of the year very few species of plants can survive in such extreme condition only seasonal flowering trees are found in high altitude so the vegetation is very scarce here it means it is very less himalayan forest starts from jammu and kashmir to purvanchal mountain in the extreme east of india let us see the types of forest in himal in the himalayas according to altitude we have got three types one is the high altitude second one is a medium altitude and third is the foothills that is the three layers of himalaya in the higher altitude we can see we have seasonal flowering trees medium altitude we can see is the coniferous trees like pine devdar and fir and the foothills we can see is a mixed forest that is both coniferous and deciduous trees are found example sal let us visualize it himalayan vegetation the first is pine you can see the flowering plants over there deodar fir sal and also one more example of the flowering plants which you can see in the higher altitude India is the 12th mega diversity country in the world. According to India's state of forest report, the forest area of India is 21.34 percentage. Forest have an intricate interrelationship with life and environment. So children, conservation of forest is of vital importance to the survival and prosperity of human kind. In the next module we will be learning the wildlife of India thank you